I own a 2007 Volkswagen Polo and her name is Nez. Now she is my first car, she helped me pass my test and overall has been a really reliable car to drive around. Very easy. 10 out of 10 drive. But as every car does, she has her problems. Now, since buying the car for this much in May 2022, I have spent this much on it. And to fix all of her current problems, I have been quoted this much by mechanics. That's not good. Now, having done some very quick research and some very, very quick maths, I worked out that if I was to fix everything up with her and sell her on, which would be just to sell her on, I would lose over £2,350 based on her current market selling price. That is more than I bought the car for just a few months ago. And that's not even including what I originally paid for her. Now, don't get me wrong, I love her to bits. She's been an amazing car, but I don't think she's quite worth that much. So the question is, how can I make this a fun project? Well, here's the plan. I'm gonna try and be as resourceful as possible use what I have and what I can find and keep the price low to fix her up and make her better than she ever was. Welcome to Pimp My Polo. What a name by the way, what a name. Right, so basically what's going on today, uh, the first step, uh, we're going to try and wash my car but before washing it, my headlights are disconnected, well they're not disconnected because they still work but they're not properly in the socket because it's broken. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the scrapyard, we're gonna look for some polo headlights, ideally some clean ones. We're just gonna look for some backlights. If we can get the whole set, perfect. We're also gonna look for some panels for the bodywork. Uh, the bodywork, there is, there is a few problems with the uh, front right side. Once we've done that, we're gonna take mine and Gareth's car and we're gonna go Basically, we're going to go back to mine and we're going to spray them all down and clean them up. Um, yeah. So, that's such a oh, far at all. Five minutes. Oh, I know where it is. I don't know where it is, but I think I know roughly where it is, where, what we're talking about. Oh, I know where it is. Is it just down at the down no, you know, um, you go towards like, no, no, that way. Right. Yeah. Am I going down the common road? Yeah, yeah. You know, you go towards, um, like Forest Side. Yeah. Yeah. And there's that wood saw place. No, but yeah. There's a wood processing place on the Randa tight corner. Yeah. And it's down that road. Just down from the house. Can go straight. Whoa! Fuck me. Can go straight. Whoa! Fuck me. I literally, I literally didn't look for a second. Oh, that was the other side of my car gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could have made a match in. <laughs> All right, go left at the end of it. Jesus Christ, that's scary. That is pretty poor direction. That is by me. pretty poor. That's kind of poor. Yeah. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah. We used to walk up there. Yeah. Um, I didn't know there was a car scrap on this down here though. No, well, we're gonna have to find it. Mate, I've not been down here for years. I've never driven down this way. I've walked down here. So it's in, in those, I think. Oh, no, I don't think there's a scrap in here. Why did you say thank you to the Bobby? Huh? Why did you say thank you to the ship's bit? You've got a girlfriend. I know, but it's like a 30 year old woman. I'm gonna scare the horses, man. I hate horses. Major hate for this. Right, I'm gonna have to. Turn oh my god, there's a guy with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> there is a guy with a shotgun. I'm turning around. <laughs> is he gonna shoot? There us? is literally a guy there with a shotgun. There is just a guy walking around with a shotgun. Is my car gonna go in the ditch? No. Very good. Well, good thing we're washing the cars after this, because I am <laughs> not fucking. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Why is there just a guy with a shotgun walking around? It's not even like his farmland, it's literally a public road. Maybe this is his farmland though. Maybe he's got out of that that chimney. Mate, uh, I don't know, but I don't want to be down here nah. with <laughs> some random guy with a fucking shot. <laughs> Oh, 
dollars, huh? <laughs> oh mate, this is a weapon. <laughs> the car's just stacked up, making me laugh. That's an 07 to be fair. Is it a Polo? Or is it a Golf? I think that's a Golf. Yeah. Didn't you expect that? 2002. Here you go. Ah, okay. I have just seen another bit. Just spray it. I wonder what's up with this fear. I wonder what's up with this fear. Is that? Is there any of them applicable for? Well, that was a failed experiment. Quite literally just did not work. Um, really? I'm quite shocked about that. <sighs> to be fair, it's not very safe when the cars are all stacked up like 10 metres high. No. That was a very bad experiment. Well, it wasn't actually. It was alright. No, it was like, it was cool. See you later, scrap it. Well. That's interesting. I didn't actually get hold of anything that I actually wanted from the scrapyard. Uh, and nothing Gareth wanted either. So instead, uh, I went to Halford. Gareth's gone home. He's gone to get his uh, car washing stuff. We're just going to go straight into it, wash the car. Um, I'm going to show you what I bought. Hold on. So firstly, these. Nice, perfect fit carpet mats, tailored for my car, supposedly. Um, they look a little bit big, uh, I'm going to be honest, but they're supposed to, they're supposed to be tailored for my car, so uh, I guess we'll have to find out the hard way. So next thing we've got is this gum, gun gum, uh, basically there's some gum and there's some metal, metal. Uh, you put the metal over the top of the exhaust. So just to backtrack a second, my exhaust had a hole in it. Which is why it sounded like this. Oh, I know where it is. Is it just down M's up? Down M's up Earlier on in the video. Back to it. Probably strap it down. I also bought these. Ryan and Gareth's valet service, free, not free. That's so where you cook your dinner in? Deep fat fryer. I cook my dinner in the oven or McDonald's. Or McDonald's. McDonald's quite nice. Uh, I miss it. All right. So basically, we've we've jacked the car up. It's currently sat at a uh, ten degree angle on one side. Uh, 
and the problem is, oh yeah, first gear, nice one. Going to, going to front of Mom's car. It's in the wrong place in, in this car. Um, Compared to all that. So, it the, basically my car, my car's exhaust, there's a hole in it, and we we found the thing we need to wrap the hole up, but we can't actually wrap it up because the, the what is it called? It's called the Jubilee. Clip. The Jubilee clip isn't long enough, so we're going to Home Hardware, which luckily there is one open which has it in stock. <laughs> Wow, but luckily there is one open which has it in stock about a five minute drive away from my house. If not, there's another one a 10 minute drive away from my house. If not, we can go to Halfords or Screwfix or somewhere. Jesus Christ. So this is it. That's what we uh, needed. Let's hope it works. With you, your head under there. Yeah, just do not go forward, or you will kill me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can. Don't know why you'd want me to. <laughs> what are you looking Can you for? Find me the little, the other bit. There's another bit somewhere. Oh fuck yeah! I remember you said. I remember seeing it. Uh, right there. Yeah, under you. Oh. Can I see the hole? You can't really. <laughs> to cut a long story short, the camera died. The good thing is, is that Gareth that night managed to fix it. And oh my god, the car sounds so much better. She's a lot quieter. Don't know why she won't stay on though. I guess that's that's the next next episode. Oh shit. Right, so it's been a few days. We just had this in the mail. Now I think it's a bit small. I might have to buy another one for the other side. It's also the wrong colour. But basically, this is a three-door car and this side, the latch that that pulls the door down, pulls the seat down, is, is, is come out and it's snapped off. And once again, my car, my car seat works. No, it doesn't. What the hell? I think I need to get some glue, glue on this, some super glue. So I've got myself some expensive glue and I've got my little, f basically f 3D printed thing. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to do this in the car, but I'm going to just give it a Gonna give the glue a quick massage to make sure it's all uh, nice and gooey. This is quite worrying actually. Don't like this <laughs> at all. Get the lid back on. Guess we're just gonna have to test it tomorrow. So it's been well over 24 hours and I haven't touched this at all. It's staying in place when I'm wriggling it. But let's just hope it stays in place when I need it to come down. 10 out of 10, good job that is for me. There's a load of glue stuff inside. Like it comes off, so it's good job. 